world of amazing animal babies. Taking a trip down memory lane, Henry? Did you ever see such a cute little baby? Oh boy, was I cute or what? Very nice, Henry. I was more than nice. I was beautiful. Henry, what's with the baby <sighs> carriage? Oh, that? Just something my cousin dropped off. Don't tell me you're babysitting. Yeah, yeah, big deal. Hey, what's going on, Henry? Huh? Wow, I think you got more than you bargained for. Could somebody help me out here, please? Looks like you could use some help, Henry. Yeah. Do you know anything about babies? Well, I mean, I was one once. Hmm. But bringing up babies is no simple matter. There's a lot you could learn by watching amazing animal babies and their parents. Nah, what could be so difficult? All babies need to do is look cute. They also need feeding and cleaning. Many animal babies make an extraordinary entrance into the world. Some are big babies. Others are little devils. But they all have one thing in common. Mom. Is this a mouse mom? No, a marsupial mom. Excuse me, a marsupi what? Marsupial, Henry, an animal that carries her babies in a pouch. It's easy to carry one baby, but when you've got this many, it can be a bit of a challenge. Wow, what a drag! A rest, kid. Finally. Uh, Henry, I think you need to pay closer attention to the baby. Baby's this, baby's that. He'll be fine. I don't know about that. <coughs> Animal moms are a lot more concerned about their babies. Like these Australian wallabies and kangaroos. Marsupials, right? Right, Henry. They keep their babies in their pouch. First mom has to help the baby find its way from the birth canal up into the pouch. So it licks a path for the baby to follow. Once inside, the tiny creature fastens on to its mother and starts to drink her rich milk. It's so tiny. Not for long. Even when it gets big, it still lives in the safety of the pouch. That way, the baby's protected from predators till it can look after itself. What a good mom! Well, here's another good mom, the Amarobia spider. She literally devotes her life to her baby spiderlings. Looks like a lot of mouths to feed. What'll they eat? Her. Excuse me? They eat her. Get out of here! Is that a joke? It's no joke. She's the ultimate self-sacrificing mom. She gives up her life so that all her babies can get a good start in theirs. Wow! But a few parents aren't nearly as caring. One of these eggs doesn't belong here. The cuckoo lays her egg in another bird's nest. The owner of the nest is fooled into thinking it has an extra bundle of joy. 
that's not only cuckoo, it's crazy. You mean it's clever. The baby cuckoo hatches in a nest full of smaller eggs and doesn't waste any time getting rid of the competition. In just a few weeks, the cuckoo will grow to more than double the size of his foster parents. What a big mouth! He sure doesn't eat like a bird. By the time he's a few weeks older and eaten his fill, he says goodbye to his adopted parents, leaving them all alone with no babies of their own. He's hungry. Him and me both. Just look at my lunch. Now what do you think the baby might like? Good thinking. Now do something about it. Oh, all right. Hey! gonna do? I think you can relax for a while, Henry. Babies normally nap after a meal. Hey, Henry, where are you going? He's fine. He'll still be right there when I get back. <laughs> hey! Oh, no. Henry, babies need a lot more attention than that. These mother lions just want to take it easy and rest after a hard day's hunting. But Junior has different plans. It's recess! Wrestling your little sister is one thing. But annoying mom, that's a really fun game. Mom might look mad, but she knows that by roughhousing, her babies are learning important skills for when they grow up. And after recess, milk! Milk straight from mom is high in fat. So it's a high-energy diet for the fast-growing cubs. All mammals suckle their babies, and every one produces its own unique formula of mammal milk. That's a mammal -lazing! After all that milk, guess they'll just be lying around for the rest of the day. <laughs> but what goes in must come out. Excuse me? This naked mole rat baby needs to use the bathroom. You mean, they've got plumbing down there? Not exactly, but there is an underground chamber where the babies are taken that's separate from where they eat and sleep. Oh, very hygienic. The adults carry the babies to and fro until they can find their own way. After that, the babies can be taken back to the food chamber to get on with the serious job of eating. I hope they wash their paws!
it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on seahorses. You are prepared, aren't you? Excuse me. I'm totally prepared to tell you uh, where seahorse babies come from. <laughs> That's your report? Sure. A lot of people have the wrong idea about babies. They do? Yeah, and especially baby seahorses. Many people think that you find babies in cabbage patches. They're wrong. Others think babies are delivered huh? by storks. Ridiculous. One guy once told me you could order babies from the back of a cereal box if you collected enough box tops. What a nut. So let me tell you where babies really come from. Uh-oh. From eggs, of course. Hmm. Their moms either lay eggs or they hold onto the eggs inside their bodies until it's time for the babies to be born. Then they... Uh, Henry, weren't we talking about baby seahorses? Well, baby seahorses are the only ones that don't come from inside their mom. Ah. Because seahorses are magic! Oh, no. When seahorse moms and dads want a baby, they go shopping at the Sea Center Mall. There they buy all the special magical ingredients, like uh, green pearls, pink seaweed, and uh, a lucky horseshoe, yeah. They take all the stuff home to their little seaweed house and carefully measure the ingredients out into an enormous cookie jar, so long as they remember to take the cookies out first. Because the cookie jar is already full of seawater, they don't have to add salt. And because it's so enormous, they can stir the mixture by swimming around in it. The seahorses put a lid on the jar and leave it on the top shelf. Three weeks later, they hear a tapping on the side of the cookie jar, take the lid off, and suddenly they have a brand new baby! Amazing. Isn't it, though? And just think they give birth without any of that pushing and messing. And yes, messing. Uh, thank you, Henry. Anyway, that's my report, and you heard it straight from the lizard's mouth. You really think anybody's going to believe that? <laughs>